Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beach here with we'll talk about the subject that comes to mind, and that is what the Broly movie sets up for everybody. Now, if you sit back and look at the Broly movie, the Broly movie is like one of the best things to ever come along. And not only that, the Broly movie was a big event for us. Basically, when it comes down to us Dragon Ball fans, we've known about Dragon Ball for years. There's a lot of stuff about Dragon Ball we know. This is a history for us that we've been a part of for a very long time. There are a lot of people, they have not have been fans of Dragon Ball, they know nothing about it. But then when you look at Broly, you know, there are new fans now. There are people that's like, oh my God, I really like how that movie turned out. And if you look at that movie, and if you've never saw Dragon Ball before, that movie did a real good job of making you, you know, aware or alert to things, meaning that, okay, this is what Dragon Ball is. You know that Goku's the main character. You know Vegeta is right there with him probably just as much as a main character as he is. You know Frieza is the main villain, and you know that there was the same name Broly who Frieza was trying to manipulate. And you know about their backstory as well, meaning that you know how Frieza came there, and you know he was over the Saiyans, and then his plot to destroy the Saiyans. So the key elements about this series was explained in that movie. So what does Broly set up? I want to say Broly sets up something new. And what I mean by that is basically, there's a lot of us here, we know Dragon Ball, we know the history, we know Dragon Ball, we know Dragon Ball Z, we know Dragon Ball GT, I don't care what you say, that is the original third series, even though Super is the continuation of um, Dragon Ball's um, Z. Uh, and there's Dragon Ball Heroes. Do not sit back and act like Heroes is not a Dragon Ball series because it is. Now, when it comes down to it, the canon series is Dragon Ball, then Dragon Ball Z, then Dragon Ball Super. GT used to be canon. It was the it was the one that followed um, Z originally, but it's no longer canon. And the same thing could be said for for Heroes because I think Heroes mainly fits with that um, you know Xenoverse universe and everything like that. And if, if there is any continuation or GT's um, you know continuation in any way, shape, or form, it would be definitely in the Heroes universe. Now, when it comes down to it. What does Broly set up? Broly sets up a whole new thing. And what I mean is that they made these things important. You know who the Saiyans are. You know who Frieza is. You know you know all of these elements. You know about the past. If anything, the Broly movie sets up some stuff that can potentially happen. For example, you we learn that not only was it Nappa and Vegeta and Radix that survived um, Planet Vegeta, but it was also um, two other Saiyans. We don't know their name. And you know there has to be a possibility of other Saiyans surviving. As a matter of fact, with Frieza destroying Planet Vegeta and, and you know, killing all the Saiyans, the, you have this scenario where, like, with Star Wars, and for you guys that is, that's not Star Wars fan, there was a movie, there was something in Star Wars that was called Order 66, where, um, they killed all the Jedi, but we knew some Jedi survived. So when it comes down to it, you have a situation where there are probably many Saiyans in the universe that eventually did survive what happened. And it's not just Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Paragus, uh, Radix, Nappa, and the other two that were there. There has to be other Saiyans that survived and probably went on to do other things. I mean, so they can do so much. So you, you think to yourself, okay, what the heck can happen? And then not only that, you have the situation where you know the Dragon Balls can do anything. And then now I'm pretty sure you're going to wonder if you're a new fan of Dragon Ball, why the hell has and Vegeta wish back for Planet Vegeta, his father, and everybody's return. Um, and that's something that could potentially come out of this as well. Um, so many things can happen with this, um, with this, this, the, the way Broly sets up uh, everything. And I mean, just a whole lot of potential. It's like uh, what they did was they made a great continuation while at the same time rebooted the series in a way to the point is say okay this is what really is what people need to know about the Saiyans and this is what people really know about Dragon Ball now that you know this now we're going to continue on from here now in the manga the Moro Saga is going on okay and the Moro Saga is good okay and basically if you guys are not um, checking out the Moro Saga you're, you're missing out man and the whole thing is that when it comes down to it um, I, we don't know what's next. Now, I personally think it's going to be cooler in Frieza in the next film, and I could be wrong, but at the same time, the Broly movie sets that up perfectly. Of course, Frieza needs to be in the next movie because Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza are always the high selling points of Dragon Ball. But you can't forget about the fact that there are other key elements in that series that are selling points for Dragon Ball. For example, Piccolo was in the movie as well. They know Piccolo is a selling point as well. And um, basically, let's not forget Gohan. Now, when it comes down to it, 
the you know anything can happen with the next story or the next movie and i got a feeling it's going to be coming out probably next year or sometime in the summer it could be uh but we need updates on super the series as well now the series is not going to be too different but it is going to be very different because it's not going to be continuing off of the hype that super had it's going to be continuing off of the hype of dragon ball super broly so whatever we're getting next get ready because it's a continuation of dragon ball super broly that's pretty much because Dragon Ball Super Broly was like a game. It was a game changer. It was it was different. It, it went into a different direction. It it did some things that was just out there. And now everyone's like, okay, I wonder what's gonna happen. You know, next with Goku. I wonder what's gonna happen with Vegeta. I know. I wonder what's gonna happen with Frieza. What's gonna happen with Broly? So it gave us a bit of a cliffhanger ending. And if you haven't seen the movie, please don't let me spoil it for you because it was a situation where pretty much Broly ended back up on planet Vampa. Goku came there, gave him some supplies. Goku accept the fact that he is Kakarot. Um, Frieza got away. He didn't die. He's plotting again. Uh, Vegeta is still Vegeta. <laughs> so, so basically, when it comes down to it, it sets up a cliffhanger where you're going to want to wonder uh, what happens, you know, what's next, what's going to happen, because you know that something else is going to happen. So we're just going to have to sit back and wait. But we're going to um see how it's going to play out. But there's so much that um the Dragon Ball uh, uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super Broly sets up for the follow-up. But I just want to say, it's your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like this video and check out my other Dragon Ball content. And I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And... Ooh.